Now, over 100 persons have been displaced from the Paramount Twin Towers or near access Victoria Island, Lagos. Men of the police force alongside the Lagos State Task Force set ablaze over 40 shanties in the community. Our correspondent Paul George was there. Sadness, all written on the faces of affected persons as onlookers and passers-by watch the shanties go up in flames. Nigerians from different parts of the country have been residing here over the years, but the government says their stay here is illegal. I don't know what is of what they come push us for this gate. Not what we feel survive to chop. One of the shanty residents claims a man known as Seriki has been collecting money from them as a fee for their stay. He speaks alongside another. The tax force arrived at about 2.30 a.m. and started the demolition. Some persons had just paid their rent. They also came last year and demolished all our shelters. I am only with the clothes I am wearing right now. What have we done? Some of us spent a lot of money. About 70,000 naira investment to get the snow. Do everything that's fine, I'm waiting the world do. If you come now and say, okay, oh, you have some money, can you come over, gather one, 1,000? Where would they say, where you never call it? We never say, say what they say. We gather one, 1,000. Okay. Now, then they give us information to come back. Say, now, Sariki, now, King, can you be for ghetto here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody feel pay like 200, whatever. Okay. One day, Bernou. The police representative at the scene refuses to speak on camera, but he says the shanties have become the den of criminals and have become a threat to the community. For many here, it is indeed a bad fate on them at this time. Paul George for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.